guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my fave five. If you are new to my channel, I only do five favorites every month because I am a sucker for trying out new stuff. So these are the ones that made it to the cut. I know it's quite late. I normally post this video first week of the month, but I went out of town and I've been doing a lot of collab videos with a lot of different people. So yeah, I'm late but it's better late than never, right? I'm gonna start with a hair product. This is something that I got from the Team Collab Holiday Giveaway. It's one of the prices, and this is the Clariel, or, or Clariel Repair Lotion. I've been trying to look for this product online, trying to see if there's like a website for this, but I can't find it. I will put the link of the seller below. Since it is a repair lotion, it's supposed to make your hair healthier and smoother and flexible and more manageable. Now this is a big thing for me because I'm the type of person who doesn't really do a lot of things with my hair. I mean, I just wash it and air dry it and that's it. This thing is pretty convenient. I just spray it. I just spray it on my hair after I take a bath or I take a shower. I leave it there and that's it. So it's fuss free. And I do notice that my hair is a little bit more manageable. My hair is naturally straight, so I don't really have any problems with that. But when I use this, I find that my hair doesn't have flyaways as often. So I used it today, so it's just perfect like that. You know, it goes inside and I like it. Well, you know that setting powder that everybody's been raving about here on YouTube, that high-end brand? This is not it. <laughs> but a lot of beauty bloggers here in the Philippines actually say that it is an affordable version of it. This is the Nishido or Nichido final powder and I have mine in Ivory Glow. They say that it is Comparable to the Laura Mercier setting powder, I can't say the same thing because I haven't tried the Laura Mercier one. If it is, then that is a buttload of savings because the Laura Mercier one here is like 1,500 pesos and this is just 150 pesos. And there is a ton of product in there, like enough to probably last me my entire life because I really don't put a lot of powder on my face anyway. So it comes with a puff, which I really don't use because it's quite scratchy, just like any setting powder or, whoa, hello. Just like any powder, it has this sifter over there and that's just it. I bought this, I think more than a year ago and look how much I've used. It's like it's still brand new. So if you're looking for an affordable, good quality setting powder, you can go ahead and try this out. Surprisingly for the price, it's actually finely milled. So try that one out. Next, I'm actually a very huge lipstick or lip product addict. That is probably my most purchased makeup product. And of course I do have to take care of my lips. And this is something that I've been using to exfoliate my lips. This is the Snowy Beso Balm. It's a lip sugar polish. I have tried out a couple of lip exfoliators before, but I find that this product actually has a good balance between the gritty and the balmy part. I've used this for like, I think more than a year now. And as you can see, it's just pretty much halfway done. I do really enjoy this. It is a, a local product. So if you do have dry lips, I suggest trying this one out to just get rid of the flakiness. I don't normally have dry lips because I tend to use very moisturizing lip products, but when I do use like matte lipsticks or matte lip products that are quite drying, this is my best friend. It takes care of my lips, so try that one out. The next one is an eye product. This is actually an eyeliner. I do love eyeliners. I've been gravitating towards brown liners and this is the one that I've been using a lot. This is the Clio Waterproof Pencil Gel Liner and I have mine in Dark Choco. It is smudge proof and also waterproof. Not that I actually wear this when I go swimming, but it's just very long lasting. It's a retractable gel liner. 
I've been using this a while. It actually comes with this sharpener. I don't use this a lot. I don't mind that it is quite blunt like that. If you are a fan of liners that just glides on smoothly, I highly recommend this. This is actually from a Korean brand. The only thing though, it has I think nine shades or nine colors, but they are all with a little bit of glitter in it. Not like that full-on disco ball glitter. It's not as noticeable, but this is not a plain brown color. The black one that they have, I think has a little bit of green, dark green sparkles. I'm, I'm not quite sure, but all of the colors there have a little bit of glitter. This one has a little bit of gold in it. I don't mind. It doesn't show up as much, so that's fine. The last one might not uh, come as a surprise because I actually did a full review on this last month and I really enjoyed this product. It is this. It's the Face Shop CC Cushion Intense Cover. It comes with, whoa, just like any other Korean cushion foundation or product, it comes with this very dirty applicator. Don't worry, it's so easy to clean. We'll just use a solid soap or a bar soap for this one because I used this today. I actually have this on. And then when you open this up, you have the product there. I actually turned this over already because I'm almost running out of it. I brought this with me when I went out of town and it just is so simple, so convenient. I just pat it on and you know, I'm done. I don't even need an under eye brightener for this. So if you want to know more about this product, just go ahead and check out my review. I did a full review on this specific item and I love it. So that is it for my fave five. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what products you've been enjoying and I might want to go ahead and try those out. If you enjoyed this video, please click on like and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and also Snapchat. It's the same name, Kim Goddess. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. I'll put the link of the seller below, but what the um, To smooth your hair. To make your hair smoother, it's supposed to leave your hair flexible and healthy and smooth. What? I just said it. One more, one more. Oh, la, la, la.